Sports marketing has been a tremendously successful platform for us. Um, we've got two core platforms, golf and rugby, including golf here in Singapore um, is key for us. Uh, in, in the end of the day, it comes down to ROI. And uh, we've been doing this and measuring this for a long, long time. And clearly, it's been a success for us, which is why we are expanding. We've made some pretty major announcements over the last six months about new properties we're going into. I think what's core for any sponsor is to try and do more than simply write out a big check and get their logo appearing everywhere. And it's very easy to fall into that trap, but it's how you take the sponsorship to the next level. Um, what HSBC has done, and I think done so well, even before my time, is get involved in a particular sport from grassroots right through to the elite level, and uh, then take that sport as well and try and engage with the community that's interested in that sport. And uh, you know, we're, we're launching our Women's Champions program as we speak, and uh, there are so many elements of that campaign that we're using to try and engage with the marketplace around golf, how we can bring more insights about golf, how we can bring golf from around the world and golf champions from around the world to Singapore, which is what HSBC does so well as a global brand. Um, golf as a game itself is a great fit for our brand. Um, it is a global game. Um, it has got tremendous values and it's very, very well targeted for our audience. What we've done for this campaign, which is uh, a big step for us is we've brought in an enormous digital element, um, particularly with social media, and there's going to be some great learnings for us out of that. Um, we're leveraging um, uh, a microsite, which we've been doing for a long time, Twitter, Facebook, we've developed an iPhone app for a, a consumer event that we're running uh, this weekend, in fact, uh, down at Neon City. Uh, so um, there's all those different elements we've brought in, and we've done that because that's where our customers are and we need to go to where they are. And uh, so testing these different elements of social media and digital marketing is critical for us. Our brand is a global brand and there is global consistency and a global strategy around how we use that brand. Absolutely no question. But to make that effective is about how you then translate that to be relevant in a local market, hence the world's local bank. And uh, that's about consumer insights and an understanding on the ground in that local market. And that's what my team here in Singapore, for example, is expected to do, which is take that global strategy and translate it to something that makes sense and resonates on the ground in the local market, but still be consistent with the global brand. Um, it provides some tremendous opportunities as well. For example, I can look at all of the advertising that's done around the 80 plus countries around the world that HSBC is present in, and I can pretty much pick and choose things that work for me. So in terms of cost efficiencies and sharing, um, I've got a huge pool to tap into. And if I see some advertising in a different country that I think will work here, I can grab that, translate it to something that might work locally, and then use it. And I, in my previous life with HSBC in Australia, I saw some of my ads running in France, and the reverse has happened. So um, it's a great opportunity for learning and also for efficiencies in terms of sharing when you've got a consistent global brand strategy.